All right. So let's briefly discuss as to how we are going to go about learning device driver development and in terms of the environment and, you know, the setup that we need. So first, let me pull up my whiteboard or blackboard here and then let me explain you what we intend to do. So we need a Linux uh, environment or Linux operating system to be able to do Linux device driver development, right? Now, what we are going to do is, as you can see, uh, I'm on a Mac, right? You might be on a Mac, Windows, or Linux. Now, even if you are, let's say, on Linux, uh, we would recommend that you follow the steps that we are suggesting so that you can protect, uh, you know, your own current operating system from, uh, you know, let's say, accidental damage, right? We don't want to corrupt any file, don't want to accidentally hurt the operating system. So now what we are going to do is create an environment for ourselves, right? Uh, which will have the Linux OS running within it. And we are going to do all our driver development and experiments uh, here, right? And um, my proposal is that we will create this environment uh, within the operating system that you're on. Uh, for example, it could be on a Mac, on Windows, right, or even Linux, right? So what we want to do is create this environment that kind of runs the Linux operating system and within that we'll develop the drivers. The other thing we want to do is because we don't want to end up working in the terminal always, we would want to write code in some files and so on and so forth. Uh, we are going to use VS Code, which is running on whichever OS that is your parent or host OS. So VS Code is running on your parent OS and we connect to this Linux environment right here over SSH. The idea then would be that whatever files we want to or whatever code we want to develop here, we can actually use VS Code to do that code development or write that code. But the files are being created, the code is being written and committed to the files which are on this uh, Linux environment. This Linux environment will call a virtual uh, instance, right? And then the software that manages this instance, uh, we are going to use like a virtual, uh, you know, virtual instance manager or more formally called a hypervisor. Um, we are going to use a hypervisor and that the name of that hypervisor is multi-pass, right? So multi-pass is like a beautiful command line utility that can do the environment setup for you. You don't have to execute too many commands. And so what I now propose that, you know, you imagine going forward is we are going to develop code within a Linux uh, operating system environment. And we are going to connect to that over VS code and the Linux operating environment itself is running uh, on top of or is managed by a hypervisor called multipass, right? So the upshot here now is if we do something bad here or screw up or put this Linux image in a bad state, we can just discard all of this and respin or recreate another instance. In that case, we would not be hurting or screwing up any of your, uh, you know, parent or guest, uh, sorry, host OS uh, environment. Hopefully this is clear that we are just wanting to create a sandbox for ourselves uh, to work in and, you know, try out the experiments. And in the next videos, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at how to do the setup on Mac, Linux, Windows. And then after that, we will start to, you know, write code, understand different parts of, uh, you know, how the device driver code is and so on and so forth.